Drop the Beat versus Dread Hades. Four, three, two, one. Fight Robots, fight. Dread Hades versus Drop the Beat. Drop the Beat looks to be a Sawbot. Able to self right very well there. There we go, Dread Hades. Grinding away at those front wedgelets though. And Dread Hades in perfectly good Tyler Wynn fashion, just showing pure dominance. Aggression, not giving Drop the Beat a second to self right, a second to even think about its next move. We're it's not just, seeing a lot of movement from that saw, though, on Drop the Beat. No, it's it's attempting to spin, but we're not seeing a lot from There we go. It might make it more challenging for them to self right when that weapon is spun all the way up, so they could mm. be just waiting for the opportunity to use it at an appropriate time. Looks like they've lost half their drive, though. They're going to have to try to gyro around, and Dread Hades taking full advantage of that. You can hear Dread Hades' weapon grinding away at the floor as it moves towards them. Yeah, the left side of that drive on Drop the Beat is down. Completely gone. Absolutely. We're not even halfway through this match. And Clear. Tyler Wynn is not going to leave it up to the judges. Tyler Wynn is, is out for a knockout here. Well, we heard that weapon grinding away at the floor, so he might have some weapon issues now. Could be Let's... just turning it off to save the battery. 90 so seconds left here in this match. Down to a pushing match. And I'll tell you, one of the few people you want to push against is Tyler Wynn. <laughs> all right, that's just for show. You got to turn on your weapon, all right? Look at this. Drop the beat. Come on. Drop the beat. They're, they're, their arm is doing the thing. Yeah. There's just no spinny spin. Yeah. Lots of aggression still here from Dread Hades. Drop the beat to their credit, still attacking, still trying to fight without much of a weapon with less than a minute in this fight. Now, uh, these are two uh, two builders who you saw on BattleBots this season. Uh, Dread Hades, of course, captained by 11-year-old Tyler Wynn, uh, captain of Perfect Phoenix on BattleBots. Drop the beat by Robert Sten from Las Vegas-based Jackpot. And they are able to crab walk across the floor pretty well. We're down to the last 30 seconds of this match. Neither bot's weapon's really functional. The arm's still functioning on drop the beat. And Robert is trying to show some kind of aggression uh, as it goes to the judges, very likely. Eight, oh, seven, seven, six. six. Five, four, three, two, one. Now that's the match. Th that's the match. This goes to the judges. All right, judges. As we think about this match, uh, we saw the hammer continue to work, uh, <laughs> the articulated arm yep. work, but no spinner. And uh, Dread Hades lost their spinner about 90 seconds into the match. Uh, Zach, do you want to start us off? Sure. Uh, while Dread Hades lost their spinner about halfway through, they were still on the aggressive aggressive attack almost the whole time. Uh, neither one really did any significant damage after they both lost their ability to attack, really. Um, but he was still on the attack, so I got to give this one to Dread Hades. The drive system was working, so he got to keep up the aggression. Yep. All right, Craig. I love the new T-shirt. This is a. Uh... Tell, tell me what, which which bot is this from? Bucky, yes. Didn't they Bucky. have the, the the really amazing like um, mascot, the Bucky mascot? That is correct. The, yeah. They did. They did. It was a bit weird. Love it. I love it. All right. What what do you think about this match? Um, I think uh, Tyler's terrifying. So uh, he was in control basically of most of it. Um, the other bot came back into it a little later, but had already lost drive and the most effective part of his weapon. So I've got to go for Dread Hades as well. All right, All right. Dread Hades. All right, Don, is this going to be a unanimous decision or a split decision? Yeah, it's going to be unanimous. Uh, Dread Hades just had the most damage and controlled the fight. Um, even after both their weapons went down, um, he was able to get a couple pins in, but most of the time they were both just stay in place, but 
Yeah, Dread 80s. Fair enough. Fair All enough. Right. All right, Tyler advances in the winner's bracket. Absolutely. All right, congratulations. Congratulations, Tyler yeah. moves on. We see, uh, we see Ray Billings over there, Tyler. And uh, yeah, Tyler will, will advance. That's fantastic. It's interesting. This uh, beater bar design we've seen on you know several different robots here. Shredder Bro, yep. uh, obviously the, the most successful with it. And what we've seen from Shredder Bro uh, from that last season into this season is a lot more weapon reliability from them. Um, so while the driving of Evan Arias has definitely decided a lot of matches, especially early on when they would lose matches in the fight, Oh, here we go. All right, Polywog and Wumbo. Polywog and Wumbo, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight robots, fight. Oh, Wumbo's got some mobility issues right out of the box. Oh, and they are damaging themselves more than their opponents. Can Polywog capitalize on this moment? This is classic Wumbo. One side of their drive seems to be functioning well, the other side not so much. And they are using their weapon to help move them around the box. Polywog not exactly sure what to do about it. Wow, look Whoa, at that, wow. Kyle. Huge gash all the way across the floor from Wumbo. This is always what you see with Wumbo. Wumbo stuck in the corner. Are they able to get out? Brett, Listen, try if this to give goes little... the full three minutes, Wumbo's going to cut its way out of the box, Kyle. Yeah, Brett, trying to give him a little bit of assistance. But frankly, Wumbo, we're going to need to see some motion. Yeah, we are not seeing controlled motion from, from Wumbo. No way. They Time just, to get uh, moving. There we no. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's a knockout. Polywog wins this fight. Wumbo. Wombo gets stuck in the corner and loses, it looks like, both sides of its drive. So, Brett helping them get to the door there. Not how you want to end a match. Polywog wins. Wombo moves into the loser's bracket. And I am really sorry for anybody that has to face Wombo in the loser's bracket. That weapon is terrifying. Now, Kyle, I know that uh, earlier today I was writing a love letter to interesting designs. Wumbo, super interesting design. I yes, love that very robot. strange concept. Big S wheel, horizontal spinner. The uh, it has a hard time reaching a lot of the bots, so they have to do a lot of like pivoting. Yeah. To get their weapon in line with their opponents. Um, I really like the uh, the the back support stick. The way that they've kind of changed that design, so it's that big overarching bendy piece of plastic now it's a really cool idea it, yeah. it definitely gives them a little bit more flexibility when they spin up their weapon faster and slower to give them different angles of attack um what do you think about the stick wheels how's that working out for them today it's not working out great i would say agreed i, I think in general large wheel designs like star childs uh like wumbo like huge um all of the different versions of huge Mobility is a challenge. It's not designed for speed. Yeah. Really, it's it's designed to hit an unconventional part of your robot. Um, so many of these robots are designed for the ground game. You know, like we want to we want to run 